guys, so I'm gonna record a voiceover this time just to just because I feel like switching it up. The boys and I are visiting California to see family, and every year we come to Andrew's parents' house, practically any time of the year, really. Their orange tree is raining juicy, sweet oranges. Andrew, the kids, and I love to pick the ripe oranges from grandma and papa's backyard, then make fresh orange juice with it for breakfast. <laughs> and I love to squeeze lemon or lime on my papaya. I tend to have two smaller breakfasts where Andrew prefers to eat just a few larger meals a day. This particular day I ate a lot of small meals because the food I was enjoying was quite water rich and low in calories, but other days I eat similar to the way Andrew eats. Just depends on the day and what I'm eating. Sing song cut pants. Who's ready for the beach? Then we went to the beach to meet up with my sister-in-law Tessa who is Andrew's brother's wife. It's so awesome because their family is also vegan, raising two vegan kids. So Elvis has cousins who share the same understanding to be kind to all animals and gets to share the same foods together with delight and joy. I shared the watermelon with Sandy, Elvis, and my nephew Winston, so I ate about half of the watermelon and a little bit of cantaloupe. I had a smoothie and most of the time Elvis and Sandy share a bunch of it with me. I had to make two batches of smoothie because my parents Vitamix blender is a lot smaller than the container that I use at home so my whole lunch wouldn't fit in the blender. Ellen had a smoothie as well. Hers was filled with about half a cup of leftover orange juice from the morning, four ripe bananas, about two cups of frozen organic mango, two tablespoons of barley grass juice powder, some hemp seeds and a little water blended smooth. We really like our green smoothies. <laughs> dressing my mom had made for us the night before. The ingredients she put in the dressing were avocado, cilantro, lots of lime juice, garlic, onion, a little olive oil, and maple syrup all blended up smooth. 
We normally don't include oil in our diet, but my mom makes very sweet and kind gestures over the years by making us 100% vegan food for every meal and every time we come to her house. Okay, and how cool is this? Another food my mom made to have ready for our arrival is that she prepared in advance fancy vegan cheese made out of cashews and cultured it for two weeks. It was so delicious and tasted perfect crumbled on top of my salad. Elvis loved it too, and he enjoyed it with veggies to spread the cashew cheese on top of. Instead of the grandkids having memories of grandma making them cookies, they're growing up with grandma making fancy vegan cheeses. This is vegan cheese. Can you believe it, guys? <laughs> Grandma's homemade vegan cheese she made for us while we were gone. And then, so he's dipping it in some veggies. Yeah. It's amazing, Mom. So for the last four or five years, all of our family dinners with my parents are 100% vegan. My mom is a chef, so she shows her love to us by making us food. My sister, the boys, and I are so grateful for our parents' support, and we lovingly accept my mom's food gifts in support of our vegan lifestyle. For this dinner, she created taco night. The main dish was sweet potatoes, golden potatoes, and purple potatoes sauteed with kale and beans. It was so good. She also served dishes of mushrooms, oil-free bell pepper and onion, salsa, green onion, cilantro, and guacamole. My dad and Hannah's husband ate wheat tortillas for their tacos, Andrew and my mom ate corn tortillas, and Hannah, Elvis, and Sandy and I enjoyed almond flour tortillas for our tacos. Andrew ate two full plates, so six tacos for dinner, and I ate two tacos with a big plate of all the fixings in addition to the tacos. It was such a delicious dinner. <laughs>